What's up, people? What's going on? Uh, I really didn't want to do this video. I really did not want to step on these faggots' necks any fucking more than I have done. But it's time for me to finally put the final nail in these fucking morons that claim I don't know nothing of what I'm talking about. I hate to break it to you, but all my information I get from these credible guys right here at Digital Foundry. And not only that, I look into it myself with my own fucking, uh... I look into it with, you know, obviously other articles, and I look into it before I make my uh, my videos. Now, I want you to pay close attention to this, and I want you to see the exposure that happens, okay? True 4K, right? The beast is here. True 4K for $500. True 4K, 60 frames per second, uncompromised, right? Yes, if you guys believe. Okay. I'm going to play this real quick. I guess I'm going to make sure this is 1080p. I want 1440p, but obviously, fucking, they don't have it in 1440p. I wonder why. Anyway, let's play it. Assassin's Creed Origins fall short. Ubisoft are instead utilizing checkerboard rendering in order to hit that UHD target. But at the same time, raw metrics don't tell the whole story, and I think the results here are rather quite excellent. Edges appear sharp and distinct just like they would at native 4K across most of the scene. And even up close, image quality can pass for a native presentation. It's only really when looking at texture details where slightly more softness is present over what you'd expect with native 4K. But <sighs> <coughs> what happened? I thought it was true 4K. I thought it was true 4K. I'm sorry. I, I'm biased, right? I thought it was true 4K, 60 frames per second, uncompromised. I thought the system had everything else, right? Oh, but you just heard it from him. It's using checkerboard, and it's not even true 4K. It's rendered. It's dynamic. Now, before some dumbass says, well, we already know that, Ryan. So fuck off. Okay. Okay, bro. This right here is the final nail in the coffin. Super Lucky's Tale. Obviously, you knew what this game was. This was the game that nobody gave two shits about E3. A lot of us rolled our eyes at. Uh, excuse me. A lot of us rolled our eyes at. And we uh, fucking ignored it, right? It looks good. And this game looks like it's native 4K. Now, I want you to listen to this because it is native 4K. But I want you to listen to this. Progression is more complex, more interesting, but I guess for us, it's interesting because it is, as you said, one of the only thus far shown 4K 60 frames per second games on the Xbox One X. The only game that is 4K 60 running on the Xbox One X. You mean to tell me that Forza wasn't running on an Xbox One X that was running on a PC? Hmm, interesting, very interesting. Very, very interesting. You mean to tell me that State of Decay 2 is not 4K60, but you guys claim I'm a liar? You mean to tell me that, <clears throat> that that's not 4K60? You mean to tell me fucking, oh, look, Assassin's Creed is not 4K60. Oh, really now? You can't, you can't give me 4K60 on these games? Hmm? Fucking Ori and the Wisp, you mean to tell me that game is not 4K60? Yeah, Crackdown 3, we already know that's not 4K60, but all this fucking hype, 17 months of hype, and you're not even giving me 4K60, that's right, I'm going for the jugular with this video. I'm gonna make you faggots cry more, but the video doesn't stop here, there's another little hint that he has to say. And unlike many other games at the show, this was actually running on real Xbox One X hardware, it was... Hmm not a PC, and uh, it's also built using Unity. Yeah, which kind of le- There you go. I will run it one more time for you. Actually running on real Xbox One X hardware, it was at the show this 4K 60 frames per second games on the Xbox One X. And unlike many other games at the show, this was actually running on real Xbox One X hardware. It was not a PC, and uh, it's also built using- There you go. There you go. There you go. Exposed to the fucking max. Exposed. Obviously, you guys know the deal with Anthem. That's not running at true 4K, so I don't need to click on that video that you probably see on the bottom left. Or the bottom right, I'm sorry. You don't need to see that because you already know it. But the bottom line is this. This fucking console is nothing more than a PS4 Pro. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is simply hilarious. And this video has deleted all you fucking morons that is fucking are calling people fucking haters and all this shit. No, we're not haters. 
I'm a truth seeker. I'm not a hater. I'm a truth seeker. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is simply delightful because all of you have been deleted. Simple as that. Now, that being said, am I still a hater? Or am I still or am I the man that you just want to hate on because he's speaking the truth? Answer that. Look yourself in the mirror and answer me that. Okay? If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. If you're not, you know, if you're not new and you're just an Xbox fan who's stalking my channel talking shit, well, how the fuck do you feel right now? But if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you know as soon as my news come available, all my subs that's been with me for so far so far, appreciate all of you, appreciate all my new ones, thank you. I'm sick again, like I said, I'm not feeling so hot. But uh do me a favor, like this video. I, don't, I usually don't ask for likes, but this one, I need you guys to like it. All right? I'll catch you guys later. You guys be good. Deuces. I'll see you guys uh, Friday, obviously, but deuces.